Okay, again for our cookies, we've got five ingredients, which is, let's see, a cup and a half of flour, a cup of chunky peanut butter, if you didn't like chunky, you could use the plain. One egg. And two cans of chocolate frosting. The first thing it said to do was to uh, take a third of a cup out of one of the cans. We're gonna put this other can aside for when uh, we decorate them or when we, uh, after we bake them and put also with this. So those two go together. This is gonna go in our bowl. And this is one you could really do at the spur of the moment. Like I said, I didn't think this was going to work, but it did. Or I didn't think it was going to work as good as it did. Okay, there's our frosting, our peanut butter. You what? Uh, yeah. Well, this could be good too. Get some vanilla wafers. Okay. Here's our cup and a half of flour and our one egg. Okay, let's get a cookie sheet. Cookie sheet, and I do like to spray this kind. I don't know whether it would or not. It, it might. I don't know whether I would want to would want to substitute that. I think that would change it. Okay, let's get a spoon here. We're just gonna take our dough. Like I said, it was really easy to to handle. Because it doesn't have any of the leavening in there, the um, baking soda or the baking powder, they're not going to, like I said before, they're not going to move a whole lot and they would stay the same shape, which is kind of a, not the best shape for cookies because it may not cook the inside. I'm sorry. I said when, when, since it doesn't have the baking powder or baking soda in it, it would stay the same. It won't flatten out. So after we get these all in the sheet, we're going to flatten them out a little bit. You can bake them like this, but I don't know that they would bake through before you had the crusty outside. So I have a fork and a little bit of sugar. And we're only using, we're only using sugar uh, rather than flour so that um, you don't have white all over your cookies. I like to do that. And we're just gonna kind of mash them like the peanut butter cookies. And 
And since I'm using this sugar like this, you know we're not going to put it back in the sugar bowl or in the sugar container because it would have little particles of chocolate cookie in there. I suppose you could change the flavor of the um, frosting. I'll show you this. They look like this, which is basically what they look like when they're, I think these are a little bit bigger. <laughs> then you take the other third of a cup the from the one can and the other can and put it in a pastry bag with whatever kind of tip you have on here, whatever kind of tip you have at home. And then you can, let's see, then you can decorate them however you like. I just put little stars on them. So that's what you do with the extra frosting. Okay. After it's baked. Yeah, don't, don't put it on before it's baked. It'll be a, it, don't put it on before you bake. It would be a mess. <laughs>